Today we're going to talk about three ways to get better at making games coming up. Hey guys, it's Travis Broman, and today I want to talk about three ways that you can get better at making games. Uh, now this is a question that I get asked a lot and it's kind of an open-ended question is how can I get better at making games? These aren't the end-all be-all answers to that. This is sort of three things that you can start doing right now to get better at making games. So the first one is stop thinking about finishing a game and actually finish a game. Actually do it. Stop sitting there and daydreaming about, oh man, it'd be so awesome if I finish my game uh, and get it out in the Google Play Store or the, the Apple App Store. If I release a bunch of games and make a bunch of money and go out and party and do all this other stuff. Stop thinking about doing that and make it happen. The only way that you're actually gonna get successful or get better is to actually stop thinking about it and start doing it. Point number two. So point number two is stop asking why you aren't as good as person XYZ at doing whatever. A lot of times, and I've fallen guilty of this myself, a lot of times you might find yourself asking, you know, man, why can't I be as good as this guy? You know, he, his art is awesome and you know, he does it, uh, he's just constantly cranking out this awesome art, why can't I be that good? Or, uh, you know, why can't I, I create games as quickly as, as uh, you know, this, this other developer out there? By asking yourself those questions, you're really wasting your own time and, time that you could be using developing games. So instead of asking yourself, you know, why am I not as good as some of these other people that I see online, realize that there's always gonna be people better than you, and that's okay. Instead of thinking about how you're gonna get better, or why can't you be better, focus your time on actually getting better. Focus your time and your attention on upskilling, working on improving your skills in art or your programming skills or in general making games. The more that you do it, the more that you'll improve. But the more you just sit there and think about it and, and wonder why you're not as good as, as other people are, the more time that you're wasting where you could be just improving instead. So that brings me to my third point, which is to stop looking so hard at best practices and trying to figure out the best way to do things. If you search the best way to make games, or the best way to write a game engine, or the best way to create textures in Photoshop, you're going to get a hundred different answers from a hundred different people. And some of those things you might even get thousands of results. There is no best way. There is what way works for you, there's what way works for me. I have my own best way of doing things. You might have a different best way of doing things. One is not necessarily better than the other. There are common things that maybe you could adopt, maybe some best practices, but don't spend so much time focusing on best practices that you lose sight of the fact that you're not actually creating anything because you're worried about best practices. So point blank, the best practice is to practice. Really is that simple. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, those are the three ways to get better at game development. Uh, three things that you can do right now or stop doing. Uh, and the first one is stop thinking about finishing a game and actually do it. The second one is stop asking why you're not as good as somebody else and actually focus on getting better yourself and stop comparing yourself to them. And then the third one is stop researching best practices and practice because the best practice is practice. All right, so that's really it. So thank you guys so much for watching and let me know uh, in the comments, give me some feedback. Let me know uh, some of the ways that you guys have improved your skills in game dev and maybe some of the ways that you guys have gotten lost um, in the past while re researching stuff. Uh, because I'd really like to hear back from you guys on you know what some of the things are that you've overcome or maybe may have discovered along the way. And if this video helps you, please let me know. I'd love to hear that too. My whole point in making these videos is to sort of give something back to the game development community. So I'm hoping that these videos help. If they do, please hit like and please subscribe because I really need those subscriptions. I'm trying to build the channel up and help as many people as I can. And the likes and subscribes let me know that I'm on the right path. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. So point, to